With only 24 hours and 24 dollars, we are going to try to explore as much of Koh Samui as we can. This challenge will help us discover the beauty of this incredible island and push us to the limits of our mental and physical capabilities. Wait till you see this guys, this is really beautiful, really beautiful. We start our day at the Big Buddha Temple, also known as Wat Prayai. This 12 meter high Buddha statue sits in the northeastern part of Koh Samui on a small hill, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the island. Just a few minutes away is Wat Plaila M. As it's not that well known around tourists, there is a high chance you can actually explore this place all by yourself. Well, except for a few local residents. Oh, they're gone. That was a big one. Baby shark to do 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 Baby shark to do 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 So that was absolutely incredible But now it's time for our favorite part of the day Which is... Coffee! What? Yeah, coffee! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, this is the best coffee I've ever had, I swear, and only for how much 35 bucks, yeah. this is this nothing, it's very, very good coffee. Now heading to our first beach of the day, which is called Crystal Beach, I think, or Silver Beach, or Secret Beach. <laughs> Wait till you see this, guys. This is really beautiful. Really beautiful. Lots of people taking pictures, lots of families having a great time. But now, we are going to a place that can only exist in Thailand. Grandfather and Grandmother's Rock, or Hinta and Hinyai, are two rock formations on the east coast of Koh Samui. They've became famous because they look like a female intimate area and... Huge! According to a local folklore, the rocks represent the poignant tale of Takrang and Yai Riem, an elderly couple who ventured on a boat journey to find a wife for their son, but tragically succumbed to a storm at sea, transforming into enduring rocks that stand as a testament to their unwavering love. It became favorite spot amongst tourists who like to take pictures mainly with a huge. We then had an ice cream from one of the local vendors that are by the entrance. Thank you very much. Look more, another is a magnet. No! No! Two more No! No! Up to you! I'm sorry because... He was super fun to talk to and if you are on the lookout for some souvenirs or just a great ice cream, definitely visit his stall. It's very good. It's very delicious. 40 baht. And after the desert, it was finally time for lunch. And as we were on Koh Samui in Thailand, we obviously went for Vietnamese food. So what is this? Beef soup from Vietnam. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
No. What do you say? Okay. After the great meal, we headed to the Lamai beach for some quick nap. Before we show you what crazy adventures we had after that, how about we take you on a tour of our accommodation. We paid only 700 Thai baht for this little studio with its own little kitchen, clean bathroom, swimming pool and gym. We stayed there for a longer period of time, that's why we were able to get this great price. And now let's get back to exploring Koh Samui. First we went to a beautiful red clay temple that has similar name to whatever we try to say. We are at Wat Ratchacharam. Ratchmatmaram. Wat Ratchacharam. Ratchatamaram. Ratchatamaram. The intricate design, beautiful view of the coast and the fact that it's still hidden gem makes it a must visit. Then we went to Guan Yu Shrine, which evoked some deep desires in Ivanka that should probably stay hidden. This is like in Chinese restaurant <laughs> in Czech Republic. Right? I'm not sure if we can put this in the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very nice. Very nice, really. It's different than Thai temple. Mm, yeah. yeah, definitely. And lastly, we visited Wat Kunaram, mostly known for its mummified monk, which we, for obvious reasons, didn't film. After that, we went to Nam Wang waterfall, which was so breathtaking that it left Ivanka speechless. Well, almost. Do you want to jump in? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh? We spent a good amount of time at the waterfall trying to get good shots that we could use for the video. Honestly, if there is some professional travel YouTuber watching this, feel free to give us some pointers in the comments down below. So we left uh, Nam Wang waterfall number one, which was really beautiful. We had a great time and now we have to trek about half an hour Bree, baby, bree. to <laughs> Nam Wang waterfall <laughs> two. Thank you. <laughs> and a lot of people say that it's even more beautiful than Nam Wang waterfall number, number one. one. So we are pretty excited. I'm pretty tired already. Uh, honey, I think it's this way. No, you're joking. Yeah. No. I think it's this I way. I kill you, you <laughs> I, I no go. I no go? <laughs> you do go. Come on. And after we went the right direction, which was luckily downhill, we found that there is actually a closer parking spot and that we just walk 20 minutes for nothing. I kill you, you Then we embarked on an adventurous expedition full of man-eating plants. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. Dangerous animals that are so small you can't even see them. I'm jumping. Oh. And horrible singing. Nas ne dogonia. Nas ne dogonia. The hike tested our endurance, pushed us to our physical limits and challenged our mental resilience. The hike is starting to be a little bit tough. We hope it will be worth it. Shit. Shit. The strenuous trek was forgotten the moment we arrived at our destination. 
and an enchanting waterfall oasis with a crystal clear pool providing a front row seat to the lush driving jungle around us. After we cool down in the pool, it was time for a romantic sunset dinner. Sorry, Kat. They have incredible views of the sunset and you can get cool shots in one of their Instagram chairs. Or not. <coughs> After that, we went home and... Took a shower and if we count it right, we have about 130 baht and... I am a little bit hungry still and Ivanka is a little bit thirsty. So let's find out if we can do something about it. It's good competition. Yeah. <laughs> we came to the same place we actually rented our bike. I mean, there is no wonder with this elaborate marketing strategy. So, did we manage to explore Koh Samui on $24 or 800 baht? Let's have a look at the numbers, shall we? We paid 700 baht for our accommodation. 200 for bike and gas. We paid zero baht for any of the temples or other attractions. The food for the fish costed us 10 baht. Coffee 35, ice cream 40, lunch 60, parking at the first waterfall 10 baht, sunset dinner 185, and second dinner 65 which equals exactly 835 baht, so without a few change, exactly $24. If you want to know what other beautiful island in Thailand is even more cheaper than Koh Samui, watch this video next. <laughs>